Hey Hector, <clears throat> it's me, your best friend. You know, the great one, the, mm -hmm, the best, the best. Um, can I take my glasses off for this? Because I, the sun is shining directly on me. Because I found out, never paid attention, but this is a parking spot for people who, are, who aren't handicapped. And they only have the parking spots that are handicapped that are near the entrances where you would go onto the platform. So... Uh, found that out, so definitely gonna try and take these spots, um, when I can and stuff. Uh, so, today I have kinesiology, so I have a quiz in the morning, um, and then, um, I have in the afternoon myofascial, so I'll get work done today, which is nice, and then tomorrow... I have to bring um, the avocados, tomatoes, and cucumber with the plates because we're gonna do, we're doing kind of like a weird uh, mixture. It's like sandwich, salad, and then she said taco bar. So I guess it's a bit of everything. You have a salad and put it on your taco. I don't know. Whatever. It's just happening. So I'm so used to glasses. I was like, oh, I'm trying to push it. Okay. I have to tell you, get a freaking chemical peel, and then I need to find out the name of the face mask my mom got me, and I want to, like, buy a billion of them, okay? I got the chemical peel, and it made my skin soft, okay? It did. It was, like, soft, and I was like, oh, yeah, that's nice. It's soft. And the pores seem to be small. Um, I haven't been good about hydrating myself, which I'm supposed to be hydrating a lot. So, I really been need need to keep up with that. But I used a uh, exfoliator today, which did help take off, you know, dead skin. And then, not only that, but then, um, I did the astringent. A non-alcoholic one. I don't like the ones that are alcoholic. They dry out my face very much. And so far, using, um... This one by, I think it's, maybe, I can't remember the name, but they came out with it, and it's one where it smells like lemon, like all their products are like smelling like lemon, their exfoliator, their um, exfoliator um, sponges that they use where you just do one wipe with it, uh, their stringents, all that. So, anyways, I... Am using that, and uh, you know that helped take off dead skin, but um, it ended up making my face extremely smooth because of the mask. I ma the mask that I used when I went and was spending the day with Allie. I used it, and I didn't know this because I didn't read it, but it was like a trippy one where it had like a hot low graphic on it, and so when you would, you know. Um, tilt it, it looked like it was 3D and it's popping out at you. So, that was really cool, but I will, I will say that, um, I, I was dumb and I didn't read the back because I just thought it was like any other face mask where it's just filled with serum and you put it on your face and you're done. So, I just did that while we were in the middle of watching a movie. And, um... And she, I'm, I did that, and then all of a sudden, like, there's foam coming, and I'm like, what is going on? And I'm like, oh, crap, did I, like, ruin it? Because did me, like, putting it in my backpack and it was hot out and everything, did it, like, foam up the serum? That's what I was thinking. But I put it on my face, and then it started to become very foamy, and I just took it and I started patting it here and patting it on my neck and spreading it out, because... I wanted to, you know, you know, help it, um, <clears throat> I wanted to help it to, you know, spread it around even if it was foamy and I was like, oh, I hope it works because it's foamy. Um, so I decided to do that, but it just kept increasing, increasing. And then she looked over at me and I started laughing and she goes, what the hell? And I was like, I'm putting on a face mask and I'm like, I'm so sorry. I'm like, I think it's foaming. And I'm like, I don't know why, though. And she looked at the back. And 
it said that you, of course, you have to clean your face before you use it, which I did that day. And um, then it said for um, you putting on the mask and then it will foam because it's killing um, things in your skin that will affect it. And like, so pretty much killing germs and all this other stuff and rip, and you leave it on for like five to ten minutes and then take it off and you do that. Well, what ended up happening is that foam started like increasing on under this eye. So I had to like keep one eye closed and I was like this. And I'm like, crap, this is my bad eye. I can barely see like what I'm watching. I'm like, I was like going like this a lot. And so, uh, I ended up, you know, I, I took it off probably less than five. I would say probably around five minutes, maybe. Probably less, because I was like, I can't keep it under here. I'm scared that it's going to go in my eye. And, uh, because it was, like, filling up, and I felt, like, tingling and, like, um, like a little sting, but it's not, like, painful. And, uh, and then I went ahead and I took it off, and then, uh, you're supposed to wash the foam off your face. And I did that. And I ended up having really soft skin. And I was like, oh, dang. Like, even under here, the skin under my eye is, like, very soft. And I'm like, holy crap, okay. So, when I did the exfoliator, exfoliator today to just kind of get any dead skin. Because I didn't shower the day yesterday. Because um, sometimes if um, I'm being lazy, I'll sometimes skip at least one day. And, I, and I'm fine. Like, my hair isn't greasy. My skin is okay and all that, but I skipped yesterday and so I decided to use an exfoliator and holy crap, it's like softer than a baby's bottom. It is so soft. It's insane. And I'm going to put some moisturizer on, but um, yeah, so I got to go because I need to catch my uh, train. I love you. I hope everything's going well for you. Uh, I'm going to text you to watch this video and uh, I'll let you know how the day goes.